The A-League action between Perth Glory and Newcastle Jets. Warm, breezy conditions and clear skies welcome both sides here in Balcatta in the northern suburbs of Perth as temperatures sit at 30 degrees ahead of kickoff. Now let's take a look at how the two sides line up. First, Perth Glory, they've made just the one change to their starting lineup from last weekend's win over ladder leaders Western United. Goalkeeper Sarah Langman has been ruled out under the concussion protocol and replaced by Morgan Aquino. This will be Aquino's second start of the season. Zara Board will take Aquino's spot on the bench where she'll be joined by new recruit and football ferns international Hannah Blake. Meanwhile, the visitors, Newcastle, they'll start with an unchanged 11 for the first time under Gary Van Eckmond with Georgina Worth in goals, Marquis Sarah Griffith and 18-year-old Lara Gooch named to lead their attack. Whilst on the bench, they will look to the impact and experience of the evergreen Tara Andrews and birthday girl Tegan Allen. Great turnout on a Sunday evening in Perth. Plenty of fans getting in the family-friendly time slot. Getting a great response from locals out in support in numbers of the Perth Glory. Positive to see a really good response to a 4 p.m. local time kickoff. Plenty of youngsters in attendance looking to see the heroes of the Liberty A League and a Perth Glory side in strong form. Both sides come into this match off the back of wins against ladder leaders Western United. For Glory, it was their first game in almost three weeks, while the midweek win for the Newcastle Jets snapped their winless run, dating back to New Year's Eve. The Jets will be looking to go back to back this afternoon for the first time in three years, while Perth will be looking to string together three wins for the first time, also dating back to 2020. Both sides now taking the pitch ahead of, of kickoff as the Newcastle Jets let out by Cass Davis while Perth Glory let out by their captain Natasha Rigby referee Georgia Girardello alongside her is fourth official Josh Manella and assistant referees Danielle Anderson and Jess Bird We'll now join the players and officials in pausing for a moment's silence for the victims of the recent earthquake in Turkey and Syria. After our moment's silence, both sides now going through the motions, getting ready for kickoff. Take a look to identify some players to watch in today's fixture. For Perth Glory, it'll be Susan Fonsong Cam. She stepped up in recent weeks to lead the attack for the Glory alongside Sierra Hinson, and she scored in back-to-back -back matches against Wellington and Western United. She looked to make it three in a row today, hopefully leading Glory to a win as she celebrates her 23rd birthday today. Wow, for the Newcastle Jets, it's their American marquee, Sarah Griffiths. She will depart the Jets after today's match and return back to her US NWSL side, Chicago Red Stars, ahead of their season. She will, however, be looking to finish with a bang and continue the goal-scoring form that has netted her four goals in eight matches during her stint in Newcastle Jets' colours. 
Perth Glory coach Alex Aparkas. He'll be looking to lead his side for a late finals charge. They currently sit 10 points adrift of fourth place, but have two games in hand. And know they need to make sure they continue to take maximum points from games against teams below them on the ladder. And again, referee Georgia Girardello, she'll take control of her ninth match of the Liberty A-League season today, assisted by Danielle Anderson and Jess Bird, while the fourth official we see alongside her there is Josh Manella. Well, for the visitors, Gary Van Egmont, he'll be hoping he's the spark for a resurgence that leads the Jets away from a dreaded wooden spoon and towards that mid-table finish at the back of the season. A win today could start that charge and see them leapfrog Perth on the ladder and pull level with Adelaide United in eighth. You see both sides go through the last of their paces as they set for kickoff this afternoon at Macedonia Park. A key game for both sides and the back half of their seasons. As we touched on in the open of the glory, looking to make it three in a row, they've turned Macedonia Park into a, somewhat of a fortress in season 2022-23, and they'll be looking to continue that run as they make that late push for the finals. Sierra Hinson there will be a key to that, a goal-scoring threat up front for the glory. Just await the whistle of referee Georgia Girardello. Checks with both sides that they're ready to proceed. And we're underway in match week 14 of Liberty A-Legs action from Macedonia Park. Jets take the first victory of battle there. They'll earn the throw in. They look to go long. Broken up by the glory and another throw in quickly taken. Looking to relieve Ashley Brodigan and a call for handball and referee Girardello brings it back as such. A little bit of confusion from the Jets but it'll be Griffith to take the free kick. Griffith now looks to go wide. A little too heavy for Cannon Cloth though. Long throw for the glory. Seen back via Taryn King. King and Garnier combine. Look to play through the skipper in Cass Davis. Griffith now has Clough with it but cuts back infield. Runs out of options, has to play back through defence. And they head all the way back to Georgina Worth outside her 18-yard box. Jets look to go long. Falls to Sarah Griffith. Griffith takes on the defenders. Cuts back in. Takes a long-range shot. It's off target. And without power. No challenge for Morgan Aquino. She just sees it off. And will take the goal kick. I see again here Griffith just turning her opponent well there before a misdirected strike on goal Agnew plays it back again and can we go backwards to head forwards the Jets Taryn King was on the score sheet midweek in that crucial win against ladder leaders Western United a ball a little too heavy to be reeled in by Clough that'll be Perth Glory to take the throw Captain and Natasha Rigby with the throw. Worth and Garnier. Lauren Allen playing in her relocated position under Gary Van Egmont. Gets a touch and gets involved. Ash Brodigan wins out, takes a long range strike. Straight to Morgan Aquino. Jets starting to create some attacking opportunities early here at Macedonia Park. 
Fon Song Cam loses her footing. You can see ball in from Agnew. Rodigan takes an early strike. Jets creating opportunities. Two strikes on goal in the first few minutes here at Macedonia Park. Fonson Cam thinks about taking the throw. Sides the hand off to the captain. Fonson Cam has the ball taken away. Griffith puts the ball out in front to Brodigan in a battle with Elizabeth Anton. Seen over the line. Ash Brodigan not happy with the decision of goal kick. Seems to think there was a touch from Anton. The referee Girardello sees us playing on. Brodigan. You just see the through ball out in front. Looks like it might have got a slight deflection. Hard to judge from the camera angle. The referee Girardello right on the spot as we see Griffith now on the attack. Cannon Clough steaming through from the defensive line to support. Gets it back inside. Lucy Johnson takes a long range strike. But again, Aquino up to the task. The Jets continue though to create a number of attacking opportunities in the early stages here. Now Perth looking to counter attack. Broken up though by Agnew. See Johnson again. Striking at that left toast, just not quite enough power to beat Aquino. Another throwing goes the way of the glory. They go long down the left flank. Ball sent it up. Fonson Cam tries to tap it on for herself, but well seen off by the defence. And now again, who else but Sarah Griffith? Cuts infield. Takes some space. She's got options now. Over hits it. Out in front of Lucy Johnson though and that'll roll away. Hits the corner flag though and stays in play. And Perth have to centre it back up for Aquino. Now Griffith again. She'll head towards the edge of the 18 yard box. Looking to partner up with a teammate but she's dispossessed. Clough again. Davis. Back to Garnier on halfway. Plenty of attacking pressure and presence from the Jets. Beautifully hit through ball, just not quite weighted. The Jets continue on, another long range shot. Again, not enough power to challenge the Perth shot stopper. And here, an animated Gary Van Egmond with running direction for his side. Fonson Cam challenged. The ball comes out. Here we see a long range shot from Gooch. That 18 year old seen a meteoric rise since Van Egmont has taken over as coach. Again, try the lofted through ball, looking for Griffith. Rush defence sees the ball away for a throw in. The Jets pick up the tempo. Cloth for Griffith. Cloth picks Lucy Johnson up on the edge of the 18 yard box. Griffith again. Johnson locks across in. Broken up by the glory. Fonson, Cam, and Griffith. Animated Gary Van Egmont continues to try and have conversation and dialogue with the fourth official in Josh Manella. Not happy with some of the decisions that have gone against his side already in the opening seven and a half minutes here at Macedonia Park. Lowry. Clough tries to break it up, gets a boot in, but doesn't do enough to deflect it away. Up the offside flag, saves the Jets. First opportunity for Perth in the attacking half. Goes to waste with the offside. Jets certainly dominated field position in the opening eight minutes. 
Now the glory. What can they create on their first real venture? Into the attacking end. Attempted long range shot blocked by the Jets. Again, a second attempt blocked. Now the Jets on the counter. Griffith again. She's been busy in the opening eight and a half. She takes it, them on on the left. It's well broken up by Sarah Kane. As we just see the offside call. A very tight one. Now, the Jets again go on the attack. Arm pull on Gooch. Well, referee Girardello will play the advantage. Gooch crosses it into the box. Griffith is free at the back post. Takes a strike. Again, Aquino up to the task. She's been kept busy in the opening nine minutes. Sarah Griffith will be disappointed she didn't finish that better with the time and space she had. And you see the effort from Gooch, the arm pull. Does well to continue on. And we see a card given out. In live play as we cut back to the action. It looked like was Susan Fonson Cam possibly given the yellow card. We'll get confirmation on that. But for the time being, it's going to be the Jets with a free kick through Murphy Agnew. Just dragged back a little there by the fourth official. Heads down the flank. Lara Gooch on the left. Crosses it in dangerously. Pushed just to the right. Prime opportunity for the Jets. We see Fonson Cam picked up there for interfering with the throw-in. Cynical play earning her a yellow card. Under pressure from Hinson. Griffith. Touch too heavy. And again, Van Egmont tries to hold his tongue this time. He's certainly keeping Josh Manella very busy, the fourth official. Is that? Newcastle certainly had the best of possession, the best of opportunities in the first 11 minutes here at Macedonia Park. Coach Van Egmont still not quite satisfied with some of the decisions going against his team. We see there the confirmation of the yellow card to Susan Fonson Cam. Sierra hits it on the break here, takes a long range strike wide of the right post. Now the Jets straight away on the attack through Gooch. Newcastle Jets look almost a different side as we see the lofted through ball in the replay for Sierra Hinson. First touch strike does well, but just to the right of the post. Newcastle Jets looking a very different side under Gary Van Egmond. As we saw on Wednesday night, taking down ladder leaders Western United. They'll be looking to add another scalp in his third game in charge. But it's a glory at the moment on the attack. An ankle clip on the edge of the box. And referee Girardello points to the spot. Murphy Agnew knows that she's absolutely handed Perth a golden opportunity here. Took down to Carlos just inside the box. It's as textbook a penalty as you can see. Just caught the back foot.
little push and shove here. Might be interesting to see what referee Girardello does. Looks like Susan Fonts on cam, potentially going to ground. She's had an eventful start to this match on her for day of birth. And referee Girardello has been very busy. Not a lot of contact in that, but a little contact from Johnson and she's taken full advantage of it. Has Fonts on cam. Referee Girardello happy with the talking to. It won't be the birthday girl stepping up to the spot. It will be Sakalas who's earned the penalty. Sophia Sakalas looking for her first goal of the season. And she sends the keeper the wrong way. And Perth Glory take the lead with their first shot on target. And Sophia Sakalas registers her name on a score sheet for the first time this season from the penalty spot. Newcastle have dominated everything up to this point, but it's Perth Glory who tuck and she opens the scoring and that's got the, the home fans in, in raptures at Macedonia Park. They've been up against it for the first 15 or so minutes here. And they make the most of their first prime opportunity on to, with their first shot on target. Getting past Georgina Worth. Natasha Rigby with the long, long throw. Hinson with a tap on, looking for Fonts on Cam. Griffith now. A little bit of a collision in back play, but we play on. Griffith, a well-threaded ball. Agnew crosses it into the box. Pushed over the crossbar. Lucy Johnson couldn't quite keep that one down. As the Jets all look to quickly grab an equaliser. Beautiful play here from Griffith. Little collision there. And Johnson losing her footing as she struck it. The Jets appealing for a foul. And we've got just players colliding on their lines. The Jets continue to press. Brodigan and Gooch. Now the glory, though. Allen putting Sakalas under pressure. Hints and back for Sakalas. A little heavy, the touch from Sakalas downfield. And it'll roll away unthreateningly for a goal kick. Worth under pressure. Davis looking to use Garnier. She tries to thread it, but it's picked off. Both sides defending with intent. Johnson turns it over. Griffith breaks it up before it's handed straight back to Perth. This time the veteran Kim Carroll just sends it downfield. And Emily Garnier will be happy to see it roll away for a goal kick. Newcastle looking a little shell-shocked after Perth's first real adventure towards goal. Saw them open the scoring. If they can recompose themselves and get back to the way they started this game, it will be their best opportunity to level the scoring. Cloth puts it out in front, but far too heavy for Sarah Griffith. Lauren Allen pushing up, breaks up the play. Been a real change for Allen, moving from playing as a, a forward to a wing back now under Gary Van Egmond as we see another foul going the way of the Newcastle Jets, this time going to Sarah Griffith. You see a replay here of 
Ball through and Griffith just clipped by Rigby. And Murphy Agnew to take the free. It'll be a long range effort if she was to go direct from here. Some 35 metres out from goal. Lofts it into the box. But easily picked up by Aquino with no attacking threats coming towards her. Aquino, long, finds touch halfway along in the attacking Perth glory half. The Jets now attempt to go for the long throw. Kept inside the line just. Both sides happy to go aerial. Misdirected there by Taron King. And the glory now will have a throw in in the attacking half. Jets continue to press in defence. Gooch putting the pressure on here. Right, the ball last off her and away for a throw to Perth. Easy for Letta sent back into the defensive half for the throw. She goes long. Garnier gets a shoulder to it. And falls back to Taron King. Griffith does well to break that. Up. Now she looks for options. Happy to take the space of retreating defence. Now it'll be Lauren Allen to take the throw for the Jets. Both sides persisting with the long throws. Gooch wins out. Hopeful ball looking for Griffith. Now it falls the clock. Griffith heads wide. She'll look to turn on the afterburners to try and get to the outside. She's got Clough sitting with her. She's starting to run out of space. Tries to cross it into the box. Easily dealt with by Anton at the near post. Sarah Griffith, a constant threat down this left flank for the Newcastle Jets, just looking for some support. And here, their coach Gary Van Egmont constantly delivering instructions to the likes of Cannon Clough down this left side around how he wants them to support Griffith. Murphy Agnew with the corner. Garnier, the towering height in the box. Garnier gets ahead to it. Can't quite be controlled. It's still danger. Griffith winds up. Blocked again by the glory. Well done just in front of the goal line by Perth to see off that strike from Sarah Griffith. Now the glory straight away on the counter. Fonson Cam looking for an angled through ball. Comes under pressure, cops a shoulder to shoulder challenge from Cass Davis. And referee Giordello says she's happy for play on. Now the animation moves to the Perth side of the benches. Alex Aparkas. We see here. Cleared away once. Griffith winds up for the strike. Well defended by the glory in the end. Now Ash Brodigan, she has two defenders with, us, with her, puts it back behind Griffith, who has to turn. Sorry for Gooch. Gooch has Allen heading down the flank, but cuts back infield. Well-weighted ball out in front of Griffith. Her first touch a little heavy. And the glory captain sees it across the line for a throw. Clock back for Davis. Davis finds Griffith infield. Just a little tap there. 
And Natasha Rigby will have to be careful. That's the second time. She's fouled Sarah Griffith in the opening 23 minutes. Have a look here. The ball just popped in by Davis. And Rigby just a little boot on boot. Tap. Again, it will be Agnew. She'll look to wait this one towards the surging pack. will come from the edge of the 18-yard box. As we can see there, Perth leading the foul count 3-1. to one. Agnew drifts it into the box. Well shepherded there by the defence of Perth, keeping their keeper protected. The experience of Kim Carroll. And Quina happy to move things on straight away through Falletta. She looks to set Sakalas free, but the ball pushed across the line by the Jets. Long throw again for Glory. This time Garnier. Again, happy to push it across the line. See a replay here. Agnew putting it in, looking for Lucy Johnson, but Carroll does well to Shepard. Davis and Lowry. Continued battle there in the mids. Rigby, Fonson Cam, Rigby down the flank. Loses a footing. And continued debate between referee and Taryn King now. Taryn King maybe suggesting some simulation there from Natasha Rigby. Referee Girardello certainly had feedback from all directions so far today and done well to keep her composure. Now the Jets look to get free. We see the replay there of Rigby losing her footing after the pass. Now Cloth sets it back to Taryn King. She's got plenty of time and space, but will lay it off for Worth. Jets seem to have headed back in their shell after that glory goal. It was a great start from the Jets. And they weren't able to capitalise on opportunities in front of goal early. And that attacking raid goes awry and will come back for a goal kick. Morgan Aquino has been kept busy in her second start of the year, replacing their regular goalkeeper, Sarah Langman, who's out under the concussion protocol. Clough with the quick throw in, misses everyone. And again, Glory settle it with their centre backs. The foul that time goes the way of Perth against Cass Davis, and Perth move on quickly. What can they create here? Garnier does well in the end, picks it out from the feet of Sakalas and sends it over the sideline. Free Georgia Girardello says it's copped a touch from Sakalas ahead of the sideline. We see Sakalas again getting dangerous and free on the edge of the 18 yard box. Fortunately, Garnier was alert to that. Now, Newcastle Jets continue on in possession. Gooch dispossessed, but it goes back to Allen. Agnew couldn't reel it in, and now Perth retreat. Long ball looking for Sakalas. Perth really trying to persist with the tactic of Sakalas taking on Lauren Allen in an unfamiliar position. Falata with the throw. Seen away for the time being by the Jets. Clough. All that attack from both sides at the moment. Worth comes to the edge of her box to retrieve that. Both sides going at absolutely 
frenetic pace. Can they maintain this in warm conditions? Now the glory, happy to work it through the defence as they look to open up the Jets. Mohara Gooch pressing. Allen takes the ball away, drops it back for Garnier. She beats a couple of defenders, threads the ball for a little bit of a tangle, and the free kick goes the way of Ash Brodigan. See Garnier here, lays it out nicely. for Brodigan, but she couldn't get free of Sadie Lawrence. The ball goes into the box and headed away by the glory. Fonson Cam with a neat turn, gets free. Beats Griffith as well on the inside. Hinton overdoes it and it's turned over in attack now for the Jets. Griffith, Johnson, lofts the ball into the box. A little too heavy, one bounce to Aquino. Looks a little more promising from the Jets. But for the time being, it's still Perth Glory leading thanks to that penalty from Sakalas. One goal to nil. Faletta. Sakalas drops it back for Faletta again. Now Carroll. Lawrence. Jets continue to press. The space taken inside by Anton, now Rigby, down the line. Davis, almost tra trapped there by Brodigan. Davis pushing upfield now. Ball manages to beat all and sundry before Anton drops it back for Aquino. Her clearing kick will go all the way to her opposite number in Worth. Both sides looking a little nervy and edgy. That challenge might attract the attention of the referee, and it does. King hit in the air after she cleared that ball. Not a lot of malice in the challenge, so it will just be a free kick at this stage. Let's have a look. As you can see there, Hinton just pushing through. Collects the leg of King. Worth to take the free kick. Agnew looking for Griffith. Pushed a little too wide. As you see there, Perth, five free kicks conceded. Newcastle just the one. Fortunately for Newcastle, it's reflecting on the scoreboard the penalty that they gave away in the 15th minute. Griffith beats a couple. Heads defensively. Lauren Allen for Lara Gooch. Gooch, a well placed ball. And again, Lucy Johnson losing her footing. Might be time for Lucy Johnson to invest in some new boots. It's multiple times already today she's lost her footing in the attacking third. Now the glory defence. And look to turn defence into attack quickly through Rigby. Just pushed across the line by Clough in the end. Hinton back to a captain in Rigby. Lowry and again Rigby orchestrating things on the right side for Perth. Attempted through ball but no runners following and we'll come back for a goal kick to Newcastle.
Both sides continuing with his up-tempo all-out attack. Davis under pressure. Where's a little nudge after the fact from Hinson. That'll be a second foul against Hinson in a few minutes. The Jets waste no time in moving things along. Johnson wide. Allen puts it out in front of Gooch. She'll look to put it into the box. Mr. Exit. Off the defender. And we'll have a corner for the Jets. Is this the opportunity to level the scoring? They had the best of the opening 15 minutes before they gave away the penalty. And saw the glory open the scoring. Agnew, she'll take the corner. Goes the short corner to Gooch. Back for Agnew. She's got Alan D. Drops it for Gooch. Gooch plays it into legs. And it'll trickle across the sideline for a Newcastle Jets throw. We're not quite what they're looking for from that corner. But Agnew now. Get Cass Davis from long range. What a celebration we'd see if after 128 games, Cass Davis was to get on the score sheet for the first time in her career. Now Agnew. Looking for Brodigan. Turned over again. Perth fortunate with that misdirected pass. Now Rigby on the advance. Lays it off for the birthday girl, Susan Fonsong Cam. 23 today. She'd love to score for the third game in succession. Almost turned provided there for Sierra Hinson, but Georgina worth more than up to the task. Newcastle Jets side full of energy something that they severely lacked in recent weeks before the appointment of Gary Van Egmont the new coach appears to have revitalized them All right, Cannon Clough's touch there not what she was looking for we see the opposition manager Alex Park is up on his feet Trying to rally his troops. He knows they can't rest on their laurels of this 1-0 lead. Glory now. Back to Rigby. She'll go all the way back to Anton. Here's a centre-half partner in Carroll. Anton down the line. Rigby, a heavy touch. Griffith tries to break it up. In the end, it's Brodigan that takes it away. Johnson hits a through ball with no runners. Cannon Clough goes a lofted through ball, walking wide for Agnew. Agnew takes on Liz Anton. And Rigby beats both of them. Takes a shot. Pushes it well wide, though. Very misdirected. And we'll head for a goal kick. She would have been hoping to do a lot better with that opportunity. And we see she does well to beat two defenders. And appears to get caught in two minds between a cross and a shot. And another great opportunity for the visitors goes begging. Now Griffith. Pressuring on Rigby. Anton. Happy to push it wide. Cloth for Agnew. Agnew. Trying to find Brodigan. Griffith defending. Putting the pressure on. Jets continue to press high. And in the end, force Perth into pushing it across the line. Cloth for Brodigan. Turned over in defence, so now Hinson and King. King wins out. Garnier, she's going to go all the way back to Georgina Worth. 
Now Lauren Allen. She's the key to their attack for the first half of the season. Now steps up in a defensive role. So Carlos can't control that one and it heads across the line. Allen to take the throw. Goes long and finds multiple Perth players. Anton out in front of Fonson Cam. She tries to turn Clough inside out, but she's up to the challenge. Now Lowry. Lawrence. Having to fight across with Rigby. Now the Jets. Lauren Allen breaks it up. Gooch takes it on. On the outside. Can't quite get enough space to take off. Heads back infield. Misdirected header by Agnew and again turned over in midfield. Griffith gets ahead in to break it up. Starting to see the fatigue as we head deep into this first half on a warm day at Balcatta. Both sides have played high tempo football so far. You see Izzy Folletta just run over the top of Lauren Allen, sets Sakalas free. Sakalas threads it into the box. and tries to take a strike. But it's the long range strike from the edge of the box and the Glory double their lead. Young Izzy Folletta with the second for the Glory. Here we see it, Hinson can't quite control it. Pops it back to the edge of the 18 yard box. And Worth gets a hand to it but can only parry it into the net. As Perth young gun Izzy Folletta scores the first goal of her Liberty A-League career in her 19th match. Perth Glory take a two goal lead here in the show. They look for a quick response before we get to the break. Jets. You would still say have had the better of opportunities in this first half, but the scoreboard doesn't reflect it. Perth have capitalised well, and here they go again. Long range shot. They can't beat Georgina Worth well off her line. Now brought again. Tries to find Griffith. Going to come back for offside against Sarah Griffith. Again, the Jets. They've had plenty of chances to register on the score sheet. But it's been Perth that have been prolific in front of goal. Quite surprising when you think the Jets with over 55% lead the shots on target ratio from their shots on goal this season. Rigby with the long throw. Now the Jets set a foot race on between Anton and Brodigan. Anton happy to see it across the line. Brodigan wanting to take the quick throw but has no teammates with her. In the end, drops it short for Cloth. Now Griffith. Out in front of Brodigan. She puts it into the box but no attacking options for the Jets there inside the 18 yard box.
Davis does well to break it up. Both sides almost gave up on it and thought it was heading across the touchline, but it stopped and propped the ball just inside the line. And now the glory go long. Dangerous opportunity here. Worth coming out of a box. Puts plenty on it and sees it across the sideline. Under pressure from Sierra Hinson. A game for the opening stages that Newcastle appeared to have the upper hand, the momentum. Definitely appearing to shift. As we see Hinson here bearing down on Worth coming out of a box. Perth continue to press. They'd love a third before half time. The Jets, you feel, are hanging on at the moment. As we've seen already, anything can happen here today. Goals against the run of play. We've seen already. Now Worth moves it on. Knowing that half time approaches, the Jets look to turn defence into attack. Taron King, a bit too heavy for Sarah Griffith. Now the long throw, the glory. Missed by Fonson Camp. So we see fourth official Josh Manella indicating an additional four minutes of time to be played. Can the Jets get themselves on the score sheet before the break? Lara Gooch looks up and sees a wall of Perth defenders, so she retreats back, as does Cass Davis. She works with Garnier. Garnier tries to put it out in front of Gooch. Crossed into the box, but Aquino again. Out to it. Considering she hasn't seen game time since match week one, she's been in excellent form today, has Morgan Aquino. See Agnew down his flank, crosses it in, looking for Sarah Griffith, but Aquino snatches it from her boots. And the glory do well. So Carlos keeps it in, finds Lowry back on the inside. Lowry puts it out in front of Rigby. Rigby with space and time. Drops it back for Hinson. Lowry. She goes wide, looking for Sakalis, but overcooks it, and it'll trickle away across the byline for a goal kick. Now the Jets, can they go the length and snatch something to try and take a little bit of positivity into the break? Captain in Davis, she goes wide looking for Griffith. She'll take on the defence. See what she can do, she's already found the back of the net four times this season, Sarah Griffith. But they head defensive first, Garnier. Davis and Agnew. Griffith, a little touch on. Trying to outpace Rigby. Rigby will push it away across the byline and we'll have a corner. So plenty of stoppage time remains. Murphy Agnew rushing across to take the corner. I'm afraid Georgia Girardello is going to pull it up and issue some stern instructions here. Turns her attention to Lara Gooch. The smallest of the Jets getting bustled about there, Gooch. Agnew puts it into the box. Taron King looking to make it two from two weeks, but it's seen away by Perth in the end. A deflection earns them the throw in. Three minutes deep into stoppage time. 
And Glory leading by two as we head towards the break. They're happy just to chew off as much time as they can here, Per. So we see the corner again. Taron King only inches away from that in the end. Now the Jets. Garnier. Seen down, cloth to tap on. No one there for it though. Rigby to Anton. Cloth pressing at Aquino. Cass Davis. Looking to pick up Ash Brodigan. But there's the halftime whistle from referee Georgia Girardello. And at the break, even though they've had the lesser opportunities, it is the Perth Glory 2 leading Newcastle Jets nil. Perth Glory 2, Newcastle Jets nil. Despite the visitors having the larger number of opportunities on goal in the first half. You can see a solid crowd out in support of the home side, leading two goals to nil. Green Sand and Hills heavily populated on a beautiful Sunday afternoon in Balcatta. As we have a look back at some of the chances from the first half. Griffith and Brodigan with the early chances in the opening minutes. Lucy Johnson, the best of the Newcastle chances. But Morgan Aquino, more than up to stopping each of them. Sierra Hinson pushed one wide for the glory. Jets coach Gary Van Egmon was certainly animated at stages during the half towards the fourth official. While Alexa Parkas was keeping busy running instructions to his side before Sarah Sakalas stopped up, stepped up and nailed the first opportunity coming from a penalty. And then Izzy Folletta from long range netted her first A-League goal. You can see here Hinson dropping it back to the edge of this box and a wonderful strike from the edge of the 18 yards by young Izzy Folletta to double the lead for the glory. And that's how it remained when we headed to the halftime break. Some substitutions at half time for the glory coming from the field. Number 10, Susan Fonson Cam, replaced by 14, Hannah Blake. Football Ferns International returning to the glory mid season after having previously played for them. Her second appearance off the bench since she rejoined Perth. Having spent the last few years at Michigan State and Newcastle Jets get us back underway. Matthew Agnew looks to create the first attacking chance, but broken up by the glory. Agnew pushing it out in front. The pace of youngster Lara Gooch. Tries to cross it in, but earns her side a corner in the opening seconds of this second half. Confirmation of the second substitution on the ground there. Momentary hope for Jets fans. As we see Agnew strikes a lower hit this time around. A little tangle between Griffith and Aquino, but she got back to the ball to deny the Jets again. Now Perth on the counter attack. Sakalis. Has a goal to her name. Can she turn from scorer to provider? Crosses it into the box. Only Jets in that region, though. And the scene off for a free kick. Goes the way of Ash Brodigan against Football Fern International Liz Anton. Perth will need to be cautious. They've given away a number of fouls already in the first half and start the second half in a similar fashion. Allen with the long throw for Gooch. 
So that might have collected the defender. And as with any knock to the head, we'll take it a short pause to check on the welfare of the player. So we just see here, that's the earlier goal scorer, Izzy Folletta, just copying that flush in the face. Straight to ground and referee Georgia Girardello straight on the whistle to pull us up and allow the doctor and physio out to treat Izzy Folletta. See Alex Parker dishing out some instructions at the sideline as we watch the replay again. Looking for the quick throw and this comes off Gooch's left boot. Folletta with no time to react. Where's it flush and straight to ground? I'm hoping that she's okay. Let's wait to see. She's back sitting and she's going to get back to her feet. She'll head to the sideline after getting the treatment. We'll see if she will continue on. Looks like she likely will, and we're back underway. As we wait for Folletta to get the all clear. Now the Jets go on the attack. Lauren Allen crosses it in early. Ball falls to Agnew. She skews it over the bar. A good effort in traffic, but not quite on target in the end for Murphy Agnew. And another opportunity for the Newcastle Jets is not converted. Flat has made her way back onto the field in what's good news for Glory and their fans. So we see the replay here. The ball spilling, a little bit of hesitation between Brodigan and Agnew. As we see at the other end, the glory go on the attack. The crossbar saving Newcastle. We're going to have a second penalty to the Perth glory. And Newcastle go from bad to worse. As we see the replay here, a handball against Lauren Allen. The right hand out away from the body. And you'll see it here after the ball collects the crossbar. Beating a leaping Georgina Worth. Just sits up and collects the right arm of Lauren Allen. And referee Girardello straight on the spot. And Sophia Carlos will look to make it two from two from the penalty spot. All the pressure on Georgina Worth. As per hands cleanly. That's certainly got to give some confidence to the Newcastle Jets. So Carlos this time puts a bit more power on her penalty than her first. But well read by Georgina Worth. And seen away for a corner. Hannah Lowry to take the corner for Perth. High to the back post, punched away strongly by Worth. Johnson with a little tap on. We might see a card here after she's been taken out with the last line of defence. Referee Girardello just considering her options. No hand reaching for the pocket. Izzy Folletta might count herself very fortunate there. You see it here. Just takes out Johnson away from the ball. I'm sure her coach will be quite happy with her breaking up the attacking raid. Cass Davis steps in and takes away the free kick. Jets just looking a bit bereft of direction at this stage. Surely they take some confidence from that. Excellent penalty save by Worth. Allen misdirects her path. And all of a sudden, Sakalas is free and in space. She takes on Allen on the outside. 
You see confirmation of that halftime substitution. Kane off for Koulazakis. And Fonson Cam replaced by Blake. An early breather for Susan Fonson Cam on her 23rd birthday. As we see Perth going to the box again. Pushed away. Off target this time by Perth though. Just miss hit the shot on goal. Newcastle breathe a sigh of relief for the time being. As we see in the replay, Hinson pushing hard into the box. Liz Anton just couldn't quite get the power and direction she needed. But the glory continue to press in attack. They continue. They're advanced downfield. Broken up now. Garnier clears it towards halfway. Well, one, two down the right flank. Free kick in the end. Going against Rigby and going to the Jets. Sarah Griffith takes the time to get back to her feet. Again, her final game in Newcastle Jets colours before she returns. To the US and her NWSL side, the Chicago Red Stars. Griffith and Rigby colliding again. Not for the first time today. Allen. Agnew. Brodigan. Has a back ridden by Kim Carroll. Agnew and Gooch combine. Gooch gets the outside, crosses it into the box dangerously. Agnew misses the clearance. And will trickle away for a throw in for the Jets. Here we see the arm reaching around and wrapping will be what got Carroll in trouble. Jets with the throw. Perth not allowing the Jets any real space to move at the moment. Clough crossed it into the box, but no Jets players within Kui. Aquino easily picks it up. She's been outstanding on her return to the starting lineup. In the absence of Sarah Langman, who's out due to concussion protocols. Reflection off Lauren Allen. It'll be a Perth Glory throw this time. Folletta with a long throw. Allen for Agnew. Another free kick. And this time the card will come out. And this time it's against Sadie Lawrence. Her challenge on Agnew. See here, it's coming in rashly and collects the foot. That's what the yellow card was earned for. And it'll be Newcastle now through Agnew with the free kick. Newcastle now through Agnew. Attacking raid going awry again for Newcastle. And just can't quite find 
That last bit of polish to finish off the raid. Glory hacked the ball over the sideline into their attacking half. Allen retreating to take the throw. Does well to pick out Gooch. A confirmation there of the yellow card to Sadie Lawrence. Allen does well to break it up. Gooch turns it back. Johnson on to Davis. Back to Taron King. Sarah Griffith. Jets continue down that left side. Clough earns the throw. Heads back through Taron King. Nicely threaded ball, looking for Agnew. Rigby clears it through the legs. Brodigan earning the throw. It's time to have the throw going the way of Newcastle. Selected. Perth Glory player in a little pain. Crossed into the box dangerously. Not completely cleared yet. Griffith on the edge of the box. She heads laterally. Four, it's broken up. By Hannah Blake. It's a goal scorer. Sophia Sakalis who's down on the ground and will halt play for a moment. Referee Giardello offering her a hand up. A busy day already. Sakalis converted once from the penalty spot. Had another saved. Now, what sort of response can the Jets find? Both sides still feeling each other out in the opening stages of this second half. You feel the Jets definitely need to be the next to score if they're to take points away from Macedonia Park today. Tries to play it through the legs. Well broken up by Garnia. Griffith. Johnson out wide for Agnew. She loses control of the ball behind her. Goes back, retrieves it, crosses it into the box. Falls dangerously. Couldn't be capitalised on by Garnia. And again, an opportunity goes begging for the Newcastle Jets. Cass Davis breaks it up with the back heel. And we see it again. Garnier just couldn't control that first touch. Davis. Griffith out in front for Clough. And she crosses it in. Lofts the ball into the box. Griffith thinks about taking a first up strike. Tries to control it, loses it behind her. Hinson, wide for Blake. Boot in from Johnson, but not enough to stop the advancing play. Larry in the midfield, beats a couple. Threads it out in front, it's going to be a foot race. King gets a boot in. Hasn't completely dealt with it though. Garnier. Makes his way to Brodigan and then Agnew. Agnew puts it out in front for Gooch. Quiner out of the box. 
kicks out Lauren Allen. She does well to centre it for Ash Brodigan. We see Johnson. Can't quite advance it where she wants and turns it over. Hinson. Cass Davis retreating back into defence. Worth for Allen. Drops it back, misdirected. Perth still on the attack here. Can they add a third? Flicked on before it's broken up by Cannon Clough. She's happy just to see it away over the touchline for a throw. I wonder how long before Newcastle Jets turn to their bench. They've pushed and pressed all day. Blake looking for that little flick on for Hinton. Just couldn't quite get it on target. Lowry earns a throw in. Folletta advances the undertake it. Folletta assesses her options. Lauren Allen gets a boot in, sends it downfield. Now the glory, back to Aquino. She clears it. Agnew tries to control it. Looking for Gooch, but undercooked. Like it would have been offside. Perth just seeming to have the ascendancy here. Hinson. Bodied off by Garnier. But Perth given the throw. Garnier judged a touch at last before it crossed the line. Folletta does well before getting in a tangle. Referee Girardello again, waves play on. Griffith. She has the ball taken away. Now, Lauren Allen. Griffith switches to the right flank. She's happy to pull it up and play backwards to Allen. A little bit of miscommunication there. It all ends well for the Jets as Agnew retains the ball. Puts it out in front of Brodigan. Brodigan chips it straight at the chest of Aquino. And she moves things along quickly. Can the Jets just left wanting for that finishing touch. Glory, worth out of her box. Does well to get a boot to the ball. Might have got a little of Sakalas' shin at the same time. But led with the ball. So we'll have the first substitution for the Newcastle Jets. So it'll be Lara Gooch to come from the field. She'll be replaced by Leah Puxty for the Jets, their first change of the match today. So we'll just see this last chance. Brodigan decides to take the touch early, but never threatened goal. Now the glory with an attacking throw. Griffith. What can she create? Lays it out. For Brodigan. Jets happy to lay it back to work. King tries to thread it through, but picks out a defender. And the glory. 
chip through for Henson. She couldn't quite get hold of it. The follow-up effort for Perth. Hinton strikes it from long range. Sierra Hinton, the US import for Perth Glory, extends their lead to three. And for the second time today, the Glory score from the edge of the 18-yard box. This time, Sierra Hinton drives a tracer bullet past Georgina Worth for the Glory's third. We see attacker getting tangled. Hinton might have been a small deflection here. Indeed, there was. It saw it balloon up and overwork. Now the glory hold what you think would be an almost unassailable three goal lead. All the work to do for the Newcastle Jets. Sierra Hinton with her third of the season and the Glory's third of the day. Can the Jets find a response? And they need to do so quickly. Just over 20 minutes remain here at Macedonia Park. Clough in the box. Hits and hopes. Can't quite direct it to a trickle away. It'll be the Glory escaping with a throw in. You see that strike again is ballooning up. Off the boot of Garnier. Well struck though by Hinson. And she gets her third of the year. Back to live and we've got another foul this time going the way of the glory. See, is that goal, the goal scorer again in Hinson? And that stat there has to be a little concerning for Gary Van Egmont. The Jets have had more shots on target, but haven't been able to finish. Five shots to Perth, six to the Jets. But the glory lead, three goals to nil. 60% conversion rate for the glory. Something that they and Alex Parkers would be very happy if they can maintain. Faletta misdirects that pass. Griffith now appears since the substitution. She switched to the right-hand side of the Jets' attack. Brodigan looking for Agnew. Mistouched by Carroll. Agnew with some space. Looks to put it into the box. Picked off by Perth for the time being. Davis. Puxty. Lauren Allen. She's pushed up into attack. Cloth. Out wide for Griffith. Faletta with the sliding tackle pushes it across the line. It'll be a throw in for the visitors. Sarah Griffith would love to get herself on the... Griffith on the wide right flank, crosses it into the box. But pushes it across the byline, couldn't quite get it to an attacker. And again, Newcastle can't convert a chance in the attacking third. Now the Jets. Garnier. She's got Agnew in the centre, but she goes wide. However, Griffith had turned back. Another 
change here. And it will be Taron King to be able to see another change. Speaking of experience, Tara Andrews will head into the fray for the Jets, replacing Lucy Johnson. Can she present the target option that the Jets need? Four goals already this season, 45 in her A-League career. Cannon Clark. Davis. Back to Garnier. Jets head all the way back to Georgina Worth. Davis goes wide. Ball broken up in midfield, the clearance. Brodigan gets hold of it. Now it's set out in front of Agnew. She crosses it into the box looking for Brodigan. Still dangerous. Seen out of the 18 yard box. Agnew crosses it back in again. Opportunity for Andrews, but she had it back to goal. Long range shot. Parried away again by Aquino. And for the time being, the Glory maintain their clean sheet. And now it'll be a change for the glory. It'll be the opening goal scorer, Sofia Sakalas, to be replaced by Alana Yanchevsky. Glory now to take the goal kick. Go okay, long one out by Griffith. Andrews bodies out and wins the ball. Well, Griffith loses a foot. I see that. Shot from the edge of the box from Lauren Allen. Wasn't far away from beating Aquino at all. Andrews. Played wide now, Puxy. Takes a long range strike. Off target though. Thanks to a deflection. And we'll head for a corner. Will they look to the target? The height and presence of Tara Andrews in the box. Agnew comes in, lofts it high. Andrews bodied out. Griffith somehow pops up for Aquino. Ash Brodigan appealing that there was something awry there. The referee. Girardello wants having none of it. You can see there the Jets with so many attacking opportunities. Five set pieces at the corner. But yet to register a goal. We see it coming in here. Andrews bodied out. Griffith parries it. And it's set. Another change for the glory. This time it'll be Abby Green replacing... The other goal scorer for the glory in Izzy Folletta. Two of their goal scorers now replaced. What can Lauren Allen create? Gets it free for Brodigan. Andrews deflects to Puxty. Allen. Agnew calling for it wide on the right. Davis thinks about a long range shot. Again, the shot from outside the box, easily dealt with by Morgan Aquino. Now 
the glory. Look to clear it, but clock breaks it up. Puts it through. A little too far in advance of Tara Andrews. He just pulls up her run. Mitchell push down. Force the glory shot. Glory still looking to continue their attacking ways. Green. Goes long for Kulazakis. Turned over Kulazakis. Wins it back before Agnew takes it again. She goes wide for Puxty. Puxty misdirects that pass, looking for Allen. Of course, that's Lauren Allen on that left flank. Garnier goes long for Clough, Griffith. She turns it over. Perth happy to clear it downfield. Hinson. But the flag goes up for offside from the assistant referee. Each time they've gone long with those lofted balls with her as a target, Hinson. Another misdirected pass for the Jets. Worth their options. Agnew on the flank. Tapped on by Allen. Looking for Griffith. But again, well broken up by the glory defence. Clough charging through. Can't get a boot to that. Kulazakis gets a shove for her efforts from Davis. She gets away with that one, Cass Davis. No. Come back on the referee's whistle. Georgia Girardello will say the ball's come out off Newcastle. And the throw goes the way of Glory through Green. See the challenge in the replay there. Davis, the last to get a boot to it. Probably lucky not to give away a foul. And Perth will take that throw in. Now the ball trickles away and we'll have a goal kick. Take something fairly surprising from the Jets to come back from here. Ten minutes of regulation time remaining. Don. Puxy will block the pass and it'll head back for a goal kick. Many Jets fans thought they may have turned the corner with that win on Wednesday night, but it might be back to the drawing board. The new coach, Gary Van Egmont, after his third game in charge of the Liberty A-League side. As we see now, Perth through Yanchevsky, a misdirected strike. Never threatening Georgina Worth and her goal. Garnier now. To Davis. Risky play from Worth. Gets a clearing kick away towards halfway. Now Lauren Allen pops it out for Puxy, who plays into the legs of Hannah Lowry and earns the throw.
Now the Jets through Garnier. Griffith. Andrews couldn't quite find Clough. And again, it's Aquino clearing it. And as far as ahead of Andrews. Clough contests. But the flag goes up against Cannon Clough for offside. Quino with the clearance from the goal kick. Clough sends it downfield. Retreating defence of the glory retrieve it. But find Cass Davis. Davis looking for options. Ends up playing back. Tegan Allen. Puxy back for Allen. Tegan Allen for Lauren Allen. Before it's turned over, Perth. Little nudge there from Lauren Allen. Free kick will go against her. We see another change for the Newcastle Jets, and it'll be another Allen joining the fray. This time, Josie Allen. We see the foul against Lauren Allen. Glory in on goal. Dangerous opportunity. Scrambling defence for the Jets. So it was Lauren Allen after that foul, replaced by Josie Allen. As Griffith gets free on the right flank. Plays it infield. Andrews. She gets the deflection before Green takes it away again. It's combined. Garnier as well. Tegan Allen. Plays wide to Puxty. Brodigan dropping back and playing it again to Garnier. Garnier tries to thread it through to Andrews. Broken up by Perth. Hinson. Now falls to Jenczewski. She puts it out in front of Blake. Blake lays it off wide. Optimistic pass for Perth. Trickles across the sideline. And the Jets will take the throw. Under five minutes of regulation time remain. Jets are rapidly running out of chances and time to get themselves on the score sheet here. Cloth. Griffith. Peril Wedding looking for players to pass to. Goes back to Garnier. Griffith now with an opportunity. Almost gets it free before Blake retreats and breaks it up. Foul against Cannon Clough. See on the replay. Clough clattering in to the back of Green. Ball out in front now. Dangerous opportunity for Perth. But the flag's gone up. And will deny Alana Yanchevsky from adding her name to the score sheet. And the Jets continue to try and work out how they can convert their attacking opportunities and get themselves on the score sheet in the remaining Three minutes of regulation time here at Macedonia Park.
Anton with the clearance. I see the replay here. Very tight on the offside. Less than half a pace in it. Would have been one for the highlight reel if the goal had have stood. Magnificent finish in the end, but all for nothing with the flag up for offside. See, Perth, their third offside. They're pulled up against Janczewski. Certainly continuing to attack Perth. They'd love to add a fourth. I'll know that their finals chances and closing that gap won't just be about competition points, but goal difference will be key as well if they're to make the late charge towards the top four. The ball heads across the line and the Jets get the throw. Agnew. Brodigan. Heavy touch but retrieves it. Garnier goes wide for Clough. She's got plenty of paddock to work with. In front of Andrews, Brodigan. Brodigan dragged to ground by Hannah Lowry. Lowry and referee Georgia Girardello having a bit of a chat. Some blood coming from the nose of Lowry. The referee calls for treatment. Undoubtedly add some more time to the stoppage time as we see the contest. It's tangled up there and as they went to ground. It appears she might have just been collected by a stray arm from Brodigan. The foul, a judge to go to Newcastle. Is this their opportunity? to at least add a little more respectability to the scoreline. Close the deficit to two. As we head to the end of regulation time here at Macedonia Park in Balcata. The home side, Perth Glory. Continue their recent good form and look certain to secure a third straight win. Jerry Dillow just setting the distance for the wall here. As we see, the fourth official indicating a minimum of six minutes of added time. We see the long range free kick taken direct. But again, Morgan Aquino steps up to the mark and deals with that as she has all day. Just reward for her performance today if she could maintain a clean sheet for the first time this season in her second appearance. So you see Agnew, a direct strike. Newcastle, can they find something in stoppage time? Almost one minute has elapsed. A minimum of six to be played. A little scrappy here from the Jets, but they retain possession. Cross into the box, but again, no attackers there to latch onto the end of that. And it's seen away by Perth. Bit of a collision. But Garnier continues down the right side, crosses it into the box. But it goes across the goal line. Unthreateningly away from goal. And Morgan Aquino will take another goal kick. As we see Hannah Lowry getting some running repairs. Almost something out of a Brendan Fraser movie. Davis. Tara Andrews hasn't been able to really impose herself since she's come on from the bench. The experienced veteran. And certainly see the energy levels for Newcastle flagging. A tough... Eight days for them, three matches in eight days. A trip to Melbourne midweek, and then over to the West for today's game. And 
undoubtedly Gary Van Egmont will make no excuses and they know that their performance will need to be better if they're to continue to stave off an advancing Wellington at the bottom of the ladder. So see Lowry back on the field, not only with some impressive head bandaging, but a new jersey as well. We'll see some of the claret from the nose onto the jersey requiring a change. Should we complete the game in that number 71. Puxty. Allen does well, gets free, Josie Allen, finds Agnew. Lovely ball into the box dangerously. Liz Anton breaks it up. And the Jets will have a corner on three minutes into stoppage time. Garnier advances into the box, giving them two tall options with Andrews and Garnier to target from Agnew's corner. She wastes no time, lofts it high towards the back post. Tegan Allen scrapping out the back. Loses a footing though, and Perth turn it over quickly and advance on the counter. They continue on. Green down this flank. Somehow manages to win the back ball from Clough. Clough bodies are out. Takes possession and sees it back to Worth. Great to see the continued attacking intent from the glory. Garnier. So we just see on the replay, Cannon Clough just getting a shoulder in front. Newcastle look to go on the attack, but the ball races away from Sarah Griffith. Abby Green will take the throw. She's happy to chew up a few more seconds. Clough again. A little clip there from Sadie Lawrence. Not a lot in it, but she will need to be cautious. She is on a yellow card. Agnew lost it into the box. JC Allen gets a little nudge. Players collide, continues on. Agnew again, Brodigan. She has the ball taken away. Rash challenge from Brodigan. And the referee wastes no time going to a pocket. Brodigan gets her fourth yellow of the season. And you can see straight away, she knows it was rash. Just loses the ball. And then lashes out straight away, gets her feet, knows the challenge on Janczewski was excessive. Janczewski, her treatment will undoubtedly add some more time to be played here. Good to see her back to her feet. Now the glory. As time continues to tick away, six minutes elapsed in stoppage time. With additional stoppages here, you'd think there'd still be a little time to play. Agnew. Andrews breaks it up. The glory push it wide. Done well to be kept in. If they can cross it into the box, broken up though. And Puxy in the end pushes it away across the sideline. It'll be a glory throw in attack. What can they create here? Long range shot. And it's in the back of the net again for the glory. They get a late fourth. And things go from bad to worse for the Newcastle Jets. Sierra Hinson with her second. 
This does well here again from long range outside the box. Spots that the keepers off a line. Chips it into the top left corner. And what an afternoon for the Perth Glory at Macedonia Park. And that will put the icing on the cake for what will be a memorable victory for the Perth Glory. And referee Georgia Girardello blows full time here at Macedonia Park in Balcata. And Perth Glory string together three wins for the first time in over three years. And they will continue their unlikely march towards disrupting the top four in the Liberty A-League. A strong result for the glory at home again. Let's take a look at the full-time stats from today's fixture. A comprehensive win for the glory. And here we see the Newcastle Jets dominating a number of the attacking statistics, but the Perth Glory dominate the one that matters. Even though they trailed nine to six on shots on target and six to one on corners, it's the Perth Glory with four goals to nil over the Newcastle Jets in a comprehensive result at Macedonia Park. Plenty of celebrations for the Glory. Perth Glory running out 4-0 over Newcastle Jets.